It's the EU Commission President Ursula von der Leyen stressed at her State of the Union speech was the so-called EU Green Deal. She said meeting new climate targets is good for business and good for us all. Alex Morgan in the social media news desk The Cube has been looking at how her figures stack up. Europe will stay on course to become the first climate-neutral continent. That was the message from Ursula von der Leyen in her first State of the Union. Fair to say here, of course, you have a lot of competing pressures. The need to see Europe's economy recover after the pandemic and, of course, the need to cut emissions. Ursula von der Leyen attempted to strike the balance, admitting that for some it'll be too much and for others it will not be enough. But one of the key headline takeaways on this front was this uh, pledge here to reduce emissions, not just by 40 percent, as originally planned by 2030, but to slightly them by at least 55 percent that they're uh, aiming to be a big move forward from the commission president well it's worth saying ursula von der leyen got the backing of many businesses across the continent the day before she came out with her speech many businesses saying they supported these plans they supported this move to this green transition but ursula von der leyen perhaps predicted that there would be some who did not think she was going far enough and indeed, Greta Thunberg, one of many, saying, well, the only people disagreeing with these kind of plans or thinking they're too much will be, in her words, fossil fuel companies and lobbyists going on here to say this is not enough, it is too slow, a theme echoed by Greenpeace in a rather savage post here, basically saying this EU uh, plan is like rubbish washing up liquid. It won't clean your plate. What we need is this one over here with a really significant change, uh, not just, if you like, business as usual that will leave us with a job half done, in their words. And that's a theme that's been a sentiment that's been echoed by Extinction Rebellion, a spokesperson here from the UK branch, of course, perhaps one of the more controversial uh, organisations campaigning for radical action. Well, they were saying that these changes really do not go far enough. Let's have a listen. Unfortunately, this particular plan is still treating the breakdown of our natural world as merely a competing policy demand rather than the existential crisis it is. Zero carbon by 2050, which is still the aim, is 30 years of making a terrifying situation worse. So you get a sense there that Ursula von der Leyen was trying to strike a balance for those climate activists who want radical action and say there is no other choice. Well, this fails to do that. But there was backing from business. Either way, the climate now is firmly at the centre of debates about Europe's future. The president of the Spanish Parliament's Environment and Energy Committee, Juan Tolo Lopez de Uralda, believes the EU is taking steps in the right direction. 55% reduction for the year 2030. That uh, we think it's it's uh, really going to be ambitious and it's going to it's going to help us in the roadmap towards uh, a greener Europe, which which is important. So maybe it's not 100% what what activists would would like, but it is clearly in the right direction. Is Spain going in the right direction? Because recently several activist groups, Greenpeace, Oxfam, and they announced a lawsuit against the government of Spain for inaction against climate change, violating the commitments of the Paris Agreement. How seriously is Spain actually taking climate change? Well, the government is taking climate change very seriously and it's, it's actually presented a law in the, in the parliament, a law to, to fight climate change. There is a discussion about the ambition of the law, and this is why uh, several uh, organizations have taken the government to court. But uh, the reality is that the, the law is at the moment in the parliament. It has to go through the parliamentary process. And our hope is that in the parliament, that ambition will increase. And therefore, uh, we will be as well in the right direction. So the law is not as ambitious as this organization would like. This is why. They have taken action, but our hope is that this will improve in the parliamentary process and the final law would be more ambitious than the actual one that the government has presented. One of the things that the themes that von der Leyen was pushing was that kind of green recovery could be part of a new growth strategy. But do we actually know in practice how you turn decarbonisation into an industrial opportunity that's going to provide jobs for Europe? Well, we do, because uh, we have had an experience in Spain on the, on the increase on, on the investment in, in, in renewable energy in the past. And this has a very clear impact, for example, in the creation of jobs. Renewable energy industries are the ones who create more jobs per kilowatt produced. And this is the same in, in all the other sectors. The more green you become, 
the more jobs you are producing. Therefore, that's why we believe that this is the, the right uh, roadmap, that going green is the way for Europe to only have a, have a better economical situation, but as well to have uh, more social and, and job uh, creation, so which is, at least in Southern Europe and particularly in Spain, a very necessary move.